In our third lecture, in our first unit, we're going to talk about cost-benefit analysis and opportunity cost. So let's review. A reminder, economics is the study of people and their choices with limited resources. Scarcity is our limited resources. Money, time, energy, natural resources like farms, farmland, crops, workers are all limited. If we had all of those things, we wouldn't have to make choices. When we make choices, we decide what to do, and in turn, we decide what not to do. Because when we make a choice, we can't do both things at one time. So here's what economics is not. We really haven't discussed this um, in class at all, but econ is not the study of money, and it's not the study of the stock market, and it's not the study of riches or wealth. However, when we look at people and their choices, the ones that make the best choices in an economic sense are oftentimes the ones that have the most money, riches, wealth. It's not always the case, but um, one of the things that economists look at is they look at what have people done that have made a lot of money, um, have they chosen to do, and how does that relate to um, how we can make choices in our lives and whether or not it's worth it. Um, so that's what we end up doing in econ is that we look at how people have made choices and with their limited resources and how that has benefited or hasn't been not benefited society, humanity, and themselves. Cost benefit analysis is something that we do all the time. We weigh the cost against the benefits of doing certain things, certain situations. So for example, if we were to go to Starbucks, the cost of the Starbucks is five to ten dollars, depending on what you get. But the other costs that are associated with going to Starbucks, time to go and get the Starbucks, the extra gas that it potentially costs to go out of the way. But there are benefits, caffeine, taste, warmth, refreshment, socializing. Some of the times throughout the year, the benefits of going and getting a Starbucks are going to outweigh the cost of going and getting the drink. And sometimes when you're deciding whether or not you want a Starbucks, the cost is going to outweigh the benefit and you won't go. And that is a cost-benefit analysis. In class, we're going to talk about some that you guys will um, do really soon. And there will be some that we're going to talk about examples of cost-benefit analyses that you guys do all the time. The next big component of the intro to econ is opportunity cost. And opportunity cost is the value of all things you could have done instead of doing something else. So for example, if you go to bed early on a school night, the opportunity cost of going to bed is the value of all of the things that you could have been doing instead. So the opportunity cost of going to bed is that you are not studying, you can't catch up with friends, you can't go out to eat, you can't watch TV, and you can't play video games because you're asleep. And you can't do both of those things at the same time when you're asleep. And so the opportunity cost of going to bed is all of the things that you could have been doing um, instead of going to bed. Okay, because you can't do all of these things when you're asleep. So if we return to the cost-benefit analysis, in the example of going to bed early, the benefits of sleep outweigh the cost of going to bed early. Sometimes you do stay up late, and the benefit of staying up late outweighs the lack of sleep. And when you do that, you have a cost-benefit analysis that is greater. Um, the benefit is greater than the cost, and sometimes the cost is greater than the benefit. If we use sleep as the example, um, sometimes the benefit of going to sleep outweighs the cost of not being able to do all the other things, but sometimes... The benefit of staying up late outweighs the cost of lack of sleep. And so opportunity cost is going to be something that we're going to see throughout our 
um, pretty much our entire um, semester together in econ because opportunity cost and cost benefit analysis are something that economists and people that own businesses do all the time. Should I hire the worker? Um, well, the cost of that worker is their salary, um, but the benefit is that they produce more of the items for me to sell. And so that is something that benefits the worker, but it also benefits the one, the, the, the uh, producer of the item um, because they're able to make more of the item and then they can um, make more money ultimately by um, running a cost benefit analysis. 